I sing to you all oh, my heart. I live to praise you. Every waking day. Taken by your glory, I see you everywhere in everything. You know me well, well, can I go and where? Can I turn for my help come from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth? There's nothing else for me, for you are my true, my heart rests in you, Lord. You're the Almighty God. You created me. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, how in the world did you become so awesome? In my feeble mind, I ask you, where did you come from? You answered me from a child. You said, I am that I am. No beginning and no end, self-existent one. Jehovah is your name. You are God of the heavens and all the earth is yours. Nobody knows and nothing God is over you, Lord. And I I'm overwhelmed by your glory and your power. You're ineffable. No end. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You were all oh, he who was. Your ears and ears to come, and I want to be wherever you are. I heard you inhabit the praises of your people, Lord, and I'm so glad. You gave me a garment of praise. You are my Father. You are my God. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. 
I praise you, Lord. El Gibor, El Shaddai, Yahweh, great Yah. I praise you, Yeshua. My Savior and my King, I love you, Lord, I love you so much, and my song is of and for you, Lord. Holy Spirit of the living God, I love you, Lord. My God, Holy Ghost, oh, fill me up again with power to run this race, to hear from you. Abide in you to live for you. I need you more and more and more. Oh, hallelujah! And the Lemo Cor, Ramanabaya, 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 Have my strength and my soul. You have become my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit forever and ever and ever. Even forevermore. Blessed God. I love you so much. Oh, hallelujah. This is Apostle Esther Joy praising the Lord, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit for this glorious day. Another gift from God. If you think He hasn't given you anything, I tell you, above ground is better than under the ground. For where there is life, there is hope. And there is a way. For the living God has deemed that we live. And I will see and declare new beginnings. I feel him so strong in my spirit. I will see. He's at filling the atmosphere with his glory and his presence. I loose it throughout this broadcast. Fire into the airways, the spiritual highways and the airways. Oh God, do it right now. Hallelujah. For you are with us. Penetrating all walls and barriers of darkness, obstructions, high, low, past and present. I hear him so clear for those who have an ear to hear what the prophet, the apostle of God is saying. God says, check your heart. Check your heart for any bondages of offense, buried hatred, jealousy, envy, high, impure thoughts. 
things that are lingering from a child. Things are angry because you were uh, abused, uh, misused, mistreated. Uh, somebody owes you something. Whatever it is, oh God. The Lord is saying this is the season of entering in. And he's doing it right now. I tell you, I see keys in my father's hand. I see Jesus standing by open doors for each and every one of us. This word pertains to the people of God, sealed with the blood. God is ready to bless us, somebody. And we cannot enter in with the junk in our trunk. About I will say hi. And all the things in our heart, old memories and thoughts. How many know thoughts are tangible things that tie you? Your thoughts are soulish and can soul tie you to that person or thing. And so it's time to clear out our minds and the issues of life. The issues of our heart, our heart is deep. I tell you, I can see you smiling. And I can see you looking all good, but I don't know your heart. But the Lord who created you judges you by your heart. Because, see, he's just that powerful. He knows the heart of any man, which is the wisdom of God alone. If I tell you, when God tells you to leave somewhere or break from someone, he sees the heart of that situation, of that person. He's the all-wise God. People can fool us without what appearance, but they can't fool the Almighty. And God is saying he would that you would clean out your heart on today. Because as we're entering in, we're not going offended. We're not going hating anyone. We're not going unforgiving, bitter. We're not going evil. We're not going forth angry. We're not going forth regretting. We're not going forth thinking that the outcome should have been different. Hallelujah. Everything is working together for the good of those that love the Lord. You should hear me say this because this is powerful. Your heart issues. Any resentment, buried resentment. I tell you about them buried things is really dangerous because you don't even know you this way. You got to ask the Lord to search you and then I'll shake in the inward parts because the soul is deep, somebody. It's built of the will and the emotions. You got to say your personality, your conscious, subconscious, somebody, how you think. How you look at this, how you look at that. We got to come up out of the past and into the present and into the future. If I had to do this, my husband and I, we had to. We're not telling anyone like we such and mighty. I'm going to tell you this over this ministry. I don't think I'm better than anyone else. I want God to perfect me till the day of Jesus Christ. And he said, because of his love, behold, I will perfect you until the day of Jesus Christ. You don't want the same issues in your blood, in your heart, in your spirit, in your brand new apartment, your new condo, your new home, your new marriage, in your new business, in your new church, in your vicinity. You just don't want it because it is related to the demon. Those are strong men, resentment, bitterness, anger, unforgiveness. They're strong men. In my book, Kingdom Pearls talks about the, 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 the bondage of unforgiveness, it binds you. It's a, it's, it's a cord, an attachment between you and who hates you or who you hate. The emotions are of the soul, so you're soulishly tied. I tell you, you can move to Italy, and, 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 and the one you hate is in Mississippi, but you're all still soul tied through the spirit of, of hatred. Spirits have no boundaries. They can go wherever. And they have legal rights to what they have legal rights to, which is not that which is not of God. So it's time to get rid of impure thoughts, impure things. We're cleaning out for the new beginning, y'all. We're cleaning out materially, physically, spiritually, and we're cleaning out our hearts. We're getting our hearts right with God. 
For we must love the Lord with all our mind, our body, and all our spirit, all our soul. And our heart must be pure before the Father. I tell you, the quickest way to get rid of our fence is to, to snap it off at the bud right away. And say, I will not be offended by you. You will not offend me. I don't care how it hurts you. You can be angry for five minutes, then let it go. Loose it. Lacerate it. Separate the cords and the demon. Get out my spirit. You will not take root in me. And curse the roots of all those evil things that can come into our hearts, y'all, and hide there, poisoning us day by day, minute by minute, because of the demon that comes with it. And we are being cleansed and purged, and we are being perfected. And this is the love and the mercy of the God we serve, so that we are pure before him and can receive the miracles that are coming even right now. Any buried resentment against anybody, any hatred, bitterness, unforgiveness, jealousy, envy, anything like that, are all demonic spirits living in you. Let's go to this word in Psalms 24. I love this word, this chapter. I'm just going to read it down to um, verse 6, 1 through 6. And it says, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof the world, and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. God is establishing who he is. Everything is his. There is no other God higher. He's the God who sits in the third heaven. There's nothing higher. He reigns. He rules. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. It's all his. He says, it's the Lord's. Everything. I don't care. The CEOs of major companies, they're borrowing his things. They don't own anything. The earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. Major conglomerates, billionaires, hear the voice of the Lord. All your stuff belongs to God. Because when you die and leave this place, your stuff stays behind, growing dust. God is the living God. For he hath founded it upon the seas, created it from nothing, and established it upon the flood somebody. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? There's nothing higher. And everything we give him is already his. Anything we offer him belongs to him. Verse 4 says, He that have clean hands and a pure heart. Notice he says a pure heart. We're not hating. We're not backbiting, clamoring, causing confusion. We're not troublemakers. We're not jealous of one another's blessings, anointings, and gifts. Oh, hallelujah. We know that God has more than enough for every last one. Hallelujah. We're not unforgiving to anything, even the worst thing that happened to us in our life. We're ready to forgive that person right now. So that the enemy has no legal right and no stronghold, no attachment, no cords, no soulish and spiritual ties to us. He says, he that have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor swore deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Now who don't want to come clean? Who don't want the blessings of God that's in his hand right now? that he's pouring out. And I tell you, angels are already visiting. They're already descending, ascending. And I tell you, these angels are escorted by the angels who can break through any satanic barrier because God means a a business on blessing his people. Glory to God. He says, this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Is that you? 
Are we that generation that want the blessings of the Lord and don't want all the junk, don't want all the baggage, no matter what happened to you, so what? What happened to me, and I tell you, I could write 15 books on the stuff I've been through. This is why I praise God, and this is why I love him so much. Because we're overcomers by Christ Jesus, who have already went before us, even I will say, to the cross 2,000 or more years ago, and took on everything that we would ever go through. It's time to release the suffering from your heart. It's time to release all that junk and baggage, all them evil things in your character, all that sneakiness and under underhandedness and all that old conniving and all that whatever I Everything not like God must go because we're going into this new thing and he's moving rapidly, quickly and swiftly and nobody wants to be left behind. The Lord judges the heart of every man. And I tell you, we're going to go over to Psalms. Help me, Holy Ghost. Let's go to a 139th Psalm. Because this is what God wants to tell you. And this is the love of the Father. He says, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. This is the Psalm of David. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising, every which way we turn. He understandeth my thought after afar, afar off. Thou compass my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. But there's not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. Who can fool him? Who can hide? What can we do? This God knows us through and through. And the seed he caused to be conceived knitted us in our mother's womb, knew everything, and it, oh my God. Verse 4, what Psalms 139, 4, For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together, and thou hast beset me behind and before I laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Where can you go? Whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. And I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there shall thy hand lead me. And thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day, and the darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. And I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee, when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thy eyes did see my substance, yet being imperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in con con continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious are, also are thy thoughts unto me, O God, and how great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. They speak against thee wickedly, and thy enemies take thy name in vain. I do not, I do, I do not, I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me. This is what we all need to say right now. All of us, me and everybody, search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me 
and lead me in the way of everlasting, life everlasting. The Lord says it's time to deal with the heart. The matters of the heart are what is got to be cleansed before the Father as the angels of the Lord are bringing forth miracles and answers, divine communications, connections, resources to the people of God to enter in. And remember, not a feeble one was among the Israelites when they exited, going forward into the new land to possess it. He's healing, delivering, setting free. God loves you. He loves me. He wants you free from being tied to all that anger, all that resentment, unforgiveness, bondage. God says, hand it over to me today and let me deal with that and let it go. Cut and sever the spiritual and soulless ties, cords, and bondages to these dark spirits and the people and the things related to it. Because the issues of the heart are up before the light, before the throne. And we are being cleansed and changed for this new season. We're entering in somebody who will receive the blessing of the Lord. He who has clean hands and a pure heart. And I seal this word up in the mighty strong blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Heavenly Father, as I come before you boldly by the blood of the Lamb, acknowledging who you are and how almighty and powerful and glorious you are. In the mighty name, the anointed, holiest name of Jesus Christ. I ask that you would touch each and every one of us, even myself, my husband, children, and grandchildren, our partners, and all those we cover all over the world, that you would search us, O God, that you would bring us to tears, for your glory, O God, for all harboring grudges and wickedness, evil in our heart. Forgive us, O God. I repent, God, and I will say, and ask those that are here in this prayer, had to repent in our Satan and as we repent for our sins of harboring evil in our hearts, resentment and grudges and evil things, oh God, unforgiveness, bitterness, hatred and jealousy, God, murmuring, complaining, backbiting and clamoring, oh God, that you would help us set us free, that your glittery sword would be loose to cut and sever the ties and cords that bind us to these demonic spirits, oh God, and set us free from those who hate us, from those who are offended by us, from those who wish, wish us evil, oh God, and that you would deal with them, but set us free, God, and seal the freedom up, the disconnection up all inside the powerful blood of Jesus, that it cannot, and I will say, that it cannot live, and it cannot operate against us any longer. We choose to let go, God. We choose to be free. We're entering into this new season whole, God, delivered from all the baggage of all the evil forces that lived in our heart, God, for the things that we suffered, for who hurt us, God, for what we've been through, Father. We choose to be freed on today. Set us free, Father. Set us free in our mind, in our body, in our spirit, in our soul, our finances, our lives, our livelihood, touch our marriages, our children and grandchildren, our surroundings, set us free. Let the freedom of Jesus Christ, the Son, set free. Let us be free indeed, God. I thank you for this mighty power overflowing in us and penetrating every dark place in our hearts, God. That's trickling down into our mind, body, spirit, our soul, soul, reliving negative emotions and evil things that are not like you, God. 
Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we choose to break and sever all covenants with death and murder and suicide and evil and demons and all the spirits and strong men spirits of hatred, which is Lucifer himself, oh God. We choose to break free, Father, from all the baggage of all dark resentment and bitterness, unforgiveness, murmuring, clamor, complaining, confusion. Oh God, you got our and all related spirits in the name and the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. We want to go free with you forward into your kingdom. We want a kingdom relationship with you as our Father, Abba, our God, as Jesus Christ, our Lord God, our Savior and our Redeemer. Oh, Holy Spirit, with us, our God, the Holy Ghost, overtaking us in our life, every situation surrounding us in our atmosphere and filling us with his power, with his spirit, the evidence of speaking in tongue. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God, today our suffering ends for we are no longer bound by the evil one. We're no longer bound by those who hate us, and they're no longer bound by anything evil we have toward them. We choose to forgive them, and we release them at all into your powerful hands. And we thank you, Father, for the blood cleansing and washing every molecule of our bodies, every part, every sickness, disease, anything to do. Every system, God, our nervous system, respiratory systems, our skeletal system, circulatory system, God, washing our stomachs, our spleen, our intestines and colons and all our vital organs, our throat, our respiratory system, immune system. Thank you, Father, for the blood of Jesus in all his raw power and glory, conquering every sickness, disease, dissolving every lump, every tumor, arthritis, diabetes, any blood disorders. Oh, God, saturating the maculas of our eyes and all our five senses, lutein, our pupils, restoring our sight and our senses as we enter in. We're entering in and healed and delivered and set free on today, God. And to pray in this prayer over our spouses and children and loved ones. Oh, God, we praise you for this touch today. That you would make all things straight, God. Spread out the roads before us, paved in your glory and the fire and the blood of the Lamb, that we stay on the right way, Father, that we'll stay in the way of holiness and righteousness because now we forgive. And God, I thank you for this mighty breakthrough today. I thank you for the love of God replacing every evil emotion. I thank you for the blood restoring us, God. I thank you, Jesus, for coming into our life, into our heart, into our mind, body, spirit, and soul to forgive us for all our sins and the way we have lived our life, to close old vortexes and portals of Satan and every vent and door and gate open to the enemy and every legal right be destroyed off our life for the enemy has no more rights to curse us or hurt us. For the curse causes shall not come, Father. In the strong and mighty name of the Lord Jesus, glory to God. And I praise you, Father, that you have forgiven us for as far as the east is from the west so far. Shall our sins be from us, O God. We bless your name on today, hallelujah. Take us forward and lead us by your great hand. Instruct us and keep us in the right way. Lord Jesus, you are our shepherd and we shall not walk. For you make us to lie down in green pastures by well-watered resting places. You instruct us in our soul. You are refreshing on today. I give God the praise and the honor and the glory. Thank you for this divine healing in our emotions, soul, and our heart. And all the lingering issues of life are being destroyed and replaced by thoughts of Jesus and this pure and the flowing blood of the Lamb and the ever-presence power of the Holy Ghost fire, the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, be our Lord and our Savior. And God, as we enter in, I thank you for all the blessings and the breakthroughs that are right upon us, God. I thank you, Father. I praise you. And my covenant is with you that I will serve you all the rest of my life and proclaim the name of Jesus to the world or whoever you put in front of me to do it with. For you are my God 
and I am your people, and I receive your healing and the breakthrough anointing today. In the name of Jesus Christ, my beautiful King and Lord, my God, and I say, come Holy Spirit and overtake my whole life. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. This is Apostle Esther Joy sealing this word up in the blood of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. We love you here at Kingdom Power Ministries, A-I-N-T-L dot church. Glory to God. Become a partner with this ministry if that's your desire to go forward in kingdom relationship with God. Jesus Christ is our Lord, Bible-based and Holy Ghost-filled, operating in the five-fold anointing. Glory to God. Go to www.kingdompowerministries.com. Click become a partner and fill in the contact form with your name and address. Uh, telephone, we need to email. It's all confidential. You can click and uh, sign up with the Giblify or and also that PayPal button should be on by Monday. We're working on it now to copy the links over. And also, um, you can, don't wait till then, though, uh, to move like when God is moving your spirit. You can click Cash App or you can write to us at Kingdom Power Ministries, I-N-T-L dot church, post office, box 381-034, Clinton Township, Michigan, 48038. And those of you who just want to sow and bless us and say, Apostle, I am learning so much. I, I feel the love of God that moving his people by his spirit with truth, with kingdom knowledge and worship. And I'm being blessed and I want to help you and Air, Apostle Aaron and your team to take this ministry around the world. And you just want to sow once in a while. Go to Kingdom Power Ministries, intl.com. That's www.kingdompowermitnessriesintl.com and click uh, donations. Click and sign up with the Giblify. It's a very reputable, trusted uh, Christian app, giving app, church giving app, glory to God. Or click the Cash App button or write to us at Kingdom Power Ministries, intl.church. Post Office Box 381034, Clinton Township, Michigan, 48038. Glory to God. I love you all covering and watching and praying to hear from the Lord what to say, what to preach, what's on his heart. I tell you, anything God does is good, and we trust and believe in him. We are covering every last one of you. You're saturated and enveloped in the blood and in the fire of God. Every part of our life, I love Oshika, loosing the angels of the Lord on our behalf. Hallelujah. Love you so much. Thank you for all your help and all your prayers. Go forward in peace. Get ready. Things are happening. What are you waiting for? God has come. Oh, hallelujah. I feel his presence so thick. This is the Apostle Esther Joy. Like and subscribe. Like us on Facebook, Apostle Esther Joy. Like us on Facebook at Kingdom Power Ministries, INTL dot church. Like us on Facebook at the Blessed Kingdom Life with Apostle Esther Joy. Look out for new episodes of the Blessed Kingdom Life coming, and I am excited about it. Go in peace and have a blessed holiday. We love you here. Shalom.